All right, as if things weren't getting complicated enough in terms of picking your gear from combat rating, attributes, magic affixes, well, we've got some more stuff since the update. And I'm gonna move myself out of the way for this video. And you can see I'm using Desolatoria. Now this gives you the Molten Golem, pretty common. And I just wanna take a look here. This is the Essence Mastery level, okay? This is the bonus that you get for collecting essences and completing that. So this is 18%. This line here with the Command Golem damage increase is from being awakened, having a rank 10 gem in the slot, and then purchasing a Dawning Echo. For transparency, on the other weapon slot, main hand, I have Thrash Jaw. Now this buffs Grim Seath. I'm not even using that ability, and you can see, in fact, it's not even on my loadout. So I'm gonna go over here, and what we're looking at is the kind of AOE damage that this Molten Golem, golem excuse me, is gonna do. So I'm going to throw that and you'll see 9,367, 9,367, that is just the AOE damage that this Golem is doing. Now I'm going to go back to town and change this essence. I don't want to edit anything out, so just bear with me here. I just want you to kind of see the whole process because I think it helps illustrate the point here. And I'm going to change this lower one also to Desolatoria. Now, as we've been told, essences don't stack right this was the line that was in the update and we have since kind of got some information and even shown some cases where well they kind of do stack at least something's going on right so i'll go back i'm going to find the same exact type of mobs i'm going to put my golem out again and let's see 8797 damage in fact i'm actually doing less damage by having the essence on twice my molten golem despite what the tooltip says when putting two of these essences on actually does less damage now this weapon has lower damage because it's not as high of a level as the other weapon but that's not going to affect it because that is actually true for both cases so why is this happening i don't really have a good answer in fact i don't know yet there's so much uncertainty here and there are some essences which are stacking so what we have is a wizard offhand here and this one affects the frozen armor and you can see that the essence mastery increases the cooldown reduction. In the case of this essence, you can actually equip two of them and it will in fact stack. So is this a discrepancy between main hand and off hand? Still unsure. I don't have enough options to test on Necro, which is kind of where we're heading with this. I think what we would like to do is get as many people willing to test things out or what they have access to and just leave comments for things that you know are stacking, that you've tried or things that aren't stacking. I can then take all of those comments, upload them onto MinMax RPG, and we can just have a collective list of everything that is working or not working so that people can reference this and have a quick guide as to what may work for the character or what may not, at least something to look at. I think this would kind of be nice. Another thing I want to show, which is interesting here, is going back, and I'm going to now change both of those main hand essences, or I'll change one first, and I'm going to change this to Revenant Wind, and this affects Wraith form. Revenant Wind is has an awakened property of reducing the cooldown by 10%, okay? Now, when I use Rev Revenant Wind or tied to this Wraith form, let's look at the cooldown that occurs as soon as I hit that Wraith form. 10 seconds, okay? And in fact, I have seven seconds remaining when the Wraith form ends. Now, if I go back in and equip a second Revenant Wind, on the lower slot and use it again and we look at that same cooldown well now it's 11 and in fact i only i have eight seconds remaining so i've actually lost cooldown reduction by using two of these so this shows that the awakened bonus is not stacking in fact it gets longer by having two and the molten golem example showed that the molten damage increase from the essence mastery level actually got worse as well so make sure that what you're using is helping your character and not hindering it and will this hold true to essences that are different from each other but affecting the same skill well let's see all right for the next example i have put on pleasant venom which is the poison golem which has an ability to for the essence mastery increase golem damage and desolatoria which for the essence mastery has increased golem damage now I will go back and I have also put these essences in a specific spot in order to get the Molten Golem to spawn. And we talked about this in a video the other day where if you put two essences that might transform or two things that won't work together in terms of changing the appearance of an ability or altering it in a certain effect, you'll only get one. So depending on where I actually equip those, I can either get a Poison or a Molten Golem. So I have them situated to get the Molten Golem. I will go out again 
and throw this and you'll see that I now do 9,458 AOE damage. So I am in fact getting some benefit from actually having two essences that work for Molten Golem in terms of having the essence mastery that is now stacking at least to some degree. I'm only getting an extra 130 or so, or 100 damage, whatever it may be there. But it is in fact boosting it. So there's a lot going on here. It's gonna take some time to figure it all out. But I just wanted to give everybody a heads up and just really stress, make sure that what you have equipped is benefiting your character. Take a few minutes or whatever it takes, five, 10 minutes to go through and test this and make sure that you're actually helping your character and not hurting it. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day.